landscaper. Yeah, well, what, what's Eddie Murphy like? Are you best friends with Eddie Murphy? And you're like, no, I don't hang I out. I never either. met him. Never met him. <laughs> we don't hang in the same circles. He did a stand. You know what? He did two comedy specials. He did a bunch of funny movies, and now he does kids' movies. And he doesn't want to ruin that legacy by going back and doing stand-up because he'll never top those first two specials. And he's got, like, 17 kids from, like, six women. So he's got a lot of fucking bills and baby mamas to pay off. So he's like, I'll do this kid's movie. I'll make fucking, you know, I'll do a voice in an animation movie and make 20 million and be done in a fucking 10 days. So I understand. He's like, that's what I want to do. So I got no problem with that. I'm not looking for Eddie Murphy to come back. Well, I honestly wouldn't mind the Beverly Hills Cop 4. I've got to admit. Yeah, I mean, that would be good. 48 Hours was fucking great. I mean, Nick Nolte. You know, you know he, that would be great too. You know, he actually definitely is making uh, a coming to America too. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, I understand he wants to protect his legacy because if he comes out and does a really shitty movie, a comedy, or he does a stand-up special and it's really bad, it's going to be like, oh man, you should just left that shit alone. Mm. When he's got all that money, he's making he like, he makes like twenty million dollars. Or ten to twenty million dollars to do a voice in an animation. He just goes in a recording studio for like a week, and then he walks away with that kind of check. It's like, do you really want to go out and slug it out in the clubs, the comedy clubs, and try to work out material? You know? Yeah. 